Hey, what is going on everyone? Ice Pop here, bringing you another Amiibo unboxing video. Today, we have the one, the only, Sephiroth. So I'm a little bit later than I wanted to for recording this video. Um, I got uh, this Sephiroth a little bit ago, I just haven't had quite the time to open them. But I'm super excited to be able to unboxing the Sephiroth Amiibo today. So like we do normally, one for the display, one for the play, we're actually going to be opening this Amiibo. I think the box looked a little bit worse on this one, like there's a little scuffing up there. That's the only justification I have. But I think the box art just looks so good for these Amiibo. I want to keep these guys in the boxes, just like we have Kazuya right here. We're going to set this guy off to the side. Actually, I could probably keep him in front as well. We're going to be opening this one. I'm a little worried. Actually, I'll put this back in a moment. Um, because his katana sword blade is like right up into the box. I was kind of nervous, like... Some boxes are a bit wider, like the re-released Corrin Player 2. Her box is a lot deeper, but yet they didn't do that for Sephiroth. I was kind of surprised, which also very glad she came out. You could find her literally months ago for over $200. I literally got her just because of the flex, because she's now 16. I think it's pretty funny. So we're probably going to be opening Sephiroth from this end. Again, I apologize for the cringe because I'm not using a box cutter to open them. There's plenty of prints right now. They were hard to come by at first. Like I said in my other video, I actually got my Kazuya first. So Sephiroth is highly sought after. I think there were some shipping issues. I'm gonna be very careful around that sword. Looks like it's like taped or something in there. I'm not sure how that's working. We're gonna take him out nice and carefully, peel him out like a Christmas present, because he pretty much is. He is probably the coolest looking DLC amiibo for Fighter Pass 2 that has been released so far. Now we wanna carefully take him out because he looks to be pretty fragile. We'll see in a moment. I'm going to try to peel him out without compromising the sword. Might get loud in a second. There we go. He just kind of fell right out. Set that over there. And there he is, the one-winged angel. And that's something... That's pretty loud. That's something I want to look at in just a moment. Let me take him out of his beautiful casing. Of a lot of, So a lot of sword characters, I'm actually glad I brought him out. I do have a Marth amiibo over here. You can see how a sword, this one's actually not too bad. This was a reprinted Marth. His is a little bent. I have a link where they're pretty bent. Sometimes their swords can be a little flimsy, but not Sephiroth's. That's pretty straight and true, like his sword in game. He just looks really good. So some common issues with some amiibo are the eyes. If my camera can focus. Oh my goodness, it's having a hard time. That's crazy. But Sephiroth's eyes can be kind of variating in angles. Sometimes his eye can be higher or lower than the other. Where in this case, they're very even. I got really lucky on that. His cloak, it's actually pretty solid. It's not really wiggling. His sword, pretty flimsy. That's why I was wanting to be careful with it. His hair is eh, pretty movable. But his wing is something that's crazy. The texture there, oh, that does wiggle a little bit. I want to be careful with that. That could break. But the wing detail is insane. Look how the light just glimmers off those feathers. They they did not cut any corners with this. And just the way his cloak looks like it's blowing. I didn't really like how the stand looked in his reveal. But when you kind of stand him up, it's kind of not very noticeable. Maybe at some angles, but if you're keeping him up front like the stand kind of has him based on the Smash logo, you don't really see it. So that's really nice. Very solidly built amiibo. Really proud to have Sephiroth. And the fact that they actually got his sword and his wing all in that little casing, they went through so many measures. So something I also wanted to showcase as well, I'll put his box back here for reference, is this is Kazu that we opened in the last video. In game, Sephiroth is a really big character, but as you can see, they kind of retrofitted him to be a similar size just for scaling sake. I also have Mario right here as well. It's kind of hard to tell right there. Let me move Kazuya to the side, put Mario in the middle. You can kind of see that these figures are a little bit bigger. Um, but overall, Sephiroth is normally a bigger character, so against likes of Mario, he can look about a bit bigger. But I think it's pretty cool that they were able to make him a uniform size so those who build shelves or whatever that contain their amiibo, they don't have to build anything like massive, like in case Ridley's was too big or Sephiroth's. The Sephiroth's amiibo looks so good. We're just going to have one last look at him. Super proud of the way he turned out. That makes me look forward to how Pyro and Mithra will be turning out eventually. And hopefully one day we'll get Sora, a great adversary for Sephiroth of Incloud. Let me know what you think of Sephiroth's amiibo in the comments below. 
I think he's wonderful. I'm actually pretty proud of how Kazuya's turned out, but I'm very biased. I think Sephiroth's is a bit better. Let me know what you two think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you in another video.